Welcome back to Payola. I am Sam. This is Luca. The first quarter of the Evernoli Liga season has been completed, and this is our best 11 so far. Starting out in goal, we've gone for Sam Gorali's Levin Shov Nadze. The man has kept four clean sheets in eight league appearances for Sam Gorali. It was a difficult position for us to pick, I think, because there's been a lot of keeper changes, a few injuries, a few red cards. But altogether, in a Sam Gorali team that's been a bit defensively inconsistent, he's been a solid mark, and uh, if they're going to improve this season, he's definitely going to be a part of it. And as for the left back, we're going to go with Wanderson Silva from De La Gori. The 31-year-old Brazilian has been a key part of that De Ligori back line and it's not just his defensive aspects that give him this role, it's the movement forward as well. One of the better wing-backs in the league for the past two seasons, so yeah, I think it's a safe pick. And so for our centre-back partnership, we have gone for the captain of Dinamo Batumi, Mamuko Kobehinte. And Tilavi Zurab Tavzade. So I think both of these guys have been solid in their teams. Obviously, six clean sheets for Dinamo Batumi so far. Yeah, which four for Tilavi as well, so... I think with Tavzade, I mean, for me, I watched that goal on the vlog, if you've not seen it, Gag versus Tel Aviv with that amazing assist he had. A ball playing defender by uh, all sense of the imagination. I have to say Tel Aviv are doing better than we expected yep. this season so yeah pretty much a deserved uh, pick. And with Koba Hidze, Dinamo Batumi are on fire at the moment and he's been a key part of that not only as a, a player but also as a leader on the pitch. He's been a key and integral part of this Dinamo Batumi team. And also been called up for the national team and played a few minutes against Albania and, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. And as for the right back we're going to go with Vladimir Mamuchashvili from Dinamo Batumi me who's been just solid scored like three goals for Batumi and he's been all right I'd say. It's difficult for a player to stand out in this Dinamo Batumi yeah. team because there's so much talent but I think he does offer a lot for them on that right hand side especially going forward. So in central midfield firstly we're going to have Gagnitze of Dila Gori. Now he's just 21 years old he's the captain of the team he's a product of the Dila Academy. In the Dila Gori team that has been performing exceedingly well this season so far he's really been the glue in that midfield holding things together. Two goals a fantastic header against local Motive. Luca, thoughts? Second in the league right now, being probably one of the leaders at just 21 years old, and I think a transfer to a better side uh, this summer should be coming. And as for our second midfield pick, we, we went with uh, Anzor Mekabishvili from Dinamo Tbilisi, who co called up for the national team uh, to play against Bosnia and Albania. Been like a solid player, although Dinamo Tbilisi haven't been that impressive lately, but I mean, a player who's been c consistently great for them, Mekabishvili is, is our pick. Yeah, he had a great start to the season, and like Luca mentioned, in the Dinamo Tbilisi team, which seemed to be under underperforming to a certain extent, he is a solid part of that. Great on the ball, solid defensive midfielder, and he has got himself a goal and assist as well in the league. Yeah. So as for our first attacking picks, we're going to go with Nika Jorgeli from uh, Sioni, who has been just solid. Yeah, just a top contributor for the team, scored three goals, assisted twice at just 20 years old as well, and contributed for half the goals the team has scored. At such a young age, I mean, this is the first season for both Jorgeli brothers in the top division and you have to say they're a breath of fresh air they are exciting going forward both of them have got three goals I think so far this season oh, yeah. and yeah thoroughly deserves his, his spot in the team and I'm looking for big things from both of those brothers for the rest of the season and so I mean it feels like premature to mention him but he is the best player in the league he has been leading all the goals it's none other than the Brazilian Flamarian for Dinamo Batumi and what can you say about him so well, far not Brazilian he's actually Georgian right now so Jovino Flamario needs a we had to go with that Vili from <laughs> Rashville, yeah. Eight goals for assists, yeah. and as many appearances, just top, top season. He's been absolutely on fire right and now. And the variety of goals he's scoring, solo runs, tap-ins, headers, left foot, right foot, you name it, he's putting it in. There's nothing more that really needs to be said about him. If you don't know about Flamari, just go onto YouTube and check out his highlights. He's absolutely on fire. And the goals and the assists they made against Torpedo Kutaisi in the last game week was absolute perfection. And so moving up top now, we've kind of got the veteran element of yeah. the team here, I think, but two guys that thoroughly deserve their place in this team due to the performance in the early part of the season. First of all, let's look at Mate Vatsadze for Gagra. Vatsadze, who made a move uh, from Uzbekistan side, Kizilkum, to Gagra as, as a veteran presence in the team for a newly promoted side, is actually paying off pretty well for the team. Four goals and an assist in nine matches. And you actually get a feeling that he's still got that type of quality in him. When a striker gets to the age of 33, you know, I think the quality shows in the fact that he's adapted his game to his older age you know he's still got some running in those legs as we've seen from a couple of his goals but his hold up play has been fantastic the ability to bring people in and he's hitting the back of the net as Lucas said for a newly promoted side getting goals is always important and so Mate Vatsadze deservedly gets a place in this team as a final pick for the team we go with the Iraklesi Karolidze from Sabatalo who's been just solid as he is for the past four or five years in the league uh, scored six goals and assisted twice in nine appearances for Sabatalo and been absolutely solid. Yeah, the former Georgia international made a move over from Lokomotiv as that team was 
well, being dismantled and he's settled in perfectly into this Sawatello squad and he's still got that eye for goal, the ability to just take a, a chance the first time he gets it and put it into the back of the net. So, um, so as you can see here, that is our squad. If you don't know about these players, please do check them out, have a look at some highlights from them, have a look at the highlights of the games. There's some real quality in the league right now and we think these guys thoroughly deserve their place in it. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. We're getting close to 100, we'd really love it. And uh, like this video, thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.